Okay, well, my mama always said there'd be days like this. That's a quote from a Van Morrison song, and I'm not sure that Van Morrison was talking about, you know, days like this. This has been an interesting week because, you know, generally nothing has gotten done this week. What happened was we were supposed to be sandblasting. Our sandblasting guy wasn't able to make it this week at all. And so I called the demo guys and said, hey, can you come out and do some more work? Because the sandblasting guy can't come. And they said, hey, we're booked up this week. So no. So in that case, very little has gotten done to the building this week. So this week recap is a recap of, you know, getting nothing done. Uh, lots of fun. But we're gonna show you a few things anyway. Once again, I just can't get over how great this facility looks, how fantastic this brick looks. Um, I mean, pictures do some justice, but not nearly the justice as having been in here, seeing those walls painted and now seeing just brick. Um, it is pretty cool. Um, this round area over here, I don't know if we're gonna walk all the way down there. Yeah, sure, why not? It looks like it was an area, perhaps there was a boiler or some sort of vent that went outside over here. And so then they bricked that in. So you can clearly see that. Otherwise, I don't know if there's any other penetrations that were in here. But man, it just looks so good. We talked a few videos ago about the ceiling in here. Uh, we pulled the floor down, floor. I must be smoking something. We pulled the ceiling down and, and opened up these rafters. Maybe I should start over. Oh, but that's what makes it so fun. So we opened up the ceiling, exposed the rafters, and we're like, hey, that looks cool. It'd be fun to take it all the way up. Brought the architect in and he thought, well, you know, you could, but there's various things that would probably prevent us from that. So there's several things you can do. So he suggested possibly sanding these. We could sandblast them as well. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll make that decision later. But I went over here to some of these studs here in the walls that we'll cover up anyway, and I sanded them. I was like, oh, wow. Now that looks something. So over here, basically same vintage, same stud. You can kind of see the, the, you know, the, the marks in the wood, all of the, the layers in the wood. And over here, you can see the grains just, they just look fantastic. Look at that. So we're like, hey, here's the backside of those. I'm like, hey, that could be something. So up here, I decided to go ahead and sand a little bit up here. And then I got some wood that I might want to put on the ceiling and I put it up there. This is nickel gap siding, otherwise known as shiplap, the famous name. And so there you can see here where these boards have not been sanded, haven't done anything in these boards I have done. Then I took it a step further and went ahead and did some finishing. So up here, I put about three coats of polyurethane on those boards. Now the question is, I also polyurethane the shiplap just to seal it. The question will be, do we want to keep it natural like that? Would we want to stain it if that's what we decide to do? So what, what would we do there? So that, that'll be a question. Feel free to give me your thoughts on that. But I'm kind of thinking this looks pretty good. So that up there, that's a preview, preview of things to come, things to look forward to in the coming months. I don't know why I'm sidetracked on the ceiling in here. Um, well, partly because if we do end up sandblasting those rafters, we would have the sandblasting guy do it. And so I wanted to just take some photos, take some video. I wanted to see what it would look like. So 
Uh, and then we may or may not choose to sandblast. Sandblasting would cost some money. Me just sanding it with a regular palm sander went really fast and it really looks good. I kind of like the fact that there's still some, some texture to the wood. There's some darkness to it. Um, it looks vintage and uh, because it is vintage and we don't want to want it to look new. So that's what's going on this week. Fireboard headquarters remodel. Not a lot, but we're looking forward to, uh, to things to come. Thanks for watching.